So hey, what is going on, fiends? So, Scott Snyder's new trailer for Rebel Moon has just dropped today, but also, too, news has come out that Rebel Moon 2 has been confirmed for Netflix and will release five months after the first film. Now, if you don't know what Rebel Moon is, Rebel Moon is essentially Scott Snyder's space opera. It's his more mature take on what you would normally see in a Star Wars film. So it means... The violence has been upped. Probably blood and gore has been upped a bit. But um, it's also rumored that Rebel Moon was Scott Snyder's pitch to Disney for a Star Wars movie that got turned down. So instead of him just completely scrapping the idea, he went back to the drawing board, reworked some stuff, changed some characters around, and now we have Rebel Moon. Well, I have the trailer for it, so let's have a look. Well, all right, fiends, got that trailer pulled up, but if you're new to the channel, we have three little magic words that we have to say before we push play and react to any trailer, and they go something like this. Lick it, flick it, and ooh-woo, I got nothing, stick it. the story of the Princess Issa. Mama In myth, she was called the Redeemer. It was said this child would stop the madness of war. That she was to usher in a new age of peace and compassion. Mama I was given memories of a world I will never see. Loyalty to a king I cannot serve. And love for a child I could not save. What do you think they want? Damn, son, she badass. Child of war. I was taught that love is weakness. There is a difference between justice and Daddy don't like spiders. Damn, they got lightsabers now too. A price to pay for defiance. I do love this part. Hold on. I don't want no trouble. We're not here to bring any. Are you ready? Like the lightsabers. You and I Pretty sure that's not what they're called, but still. Let's show them that we're not afraid. Let's show them we're more than the shackles that bind us. King is a man, and a man can fail. For a man is flawed. Is indestructible. The time has come for all that you love. Protect each other. Is that Charlie Hoonan? Old Jack from Sons of Anarchy? Who among you is willing to die for what you believe? December 22nd, part one, A Child of Fire, part two, The Sky Giver, April 19th, 2024. Only on Netflix. Is it gonna do the humble blown? Guess not. It's all right. It's very heavily influenced by Star Wars. There's no denying that. I mean, for God's sake, they even have their own lightsabers. So, but I don't think it's just Star Wars influenced. Um, 
I think there's a lot of Dune influence in this as well. So to me, this felt like Star Wars and Dune hooked up on Tinder, went out on a date. Things went really good. Date kept going and going. Then they, you know, they hooked up, had a baby, and we got Rebel Moon. Best way for me to describe it. But it just seems aesthetically wise with the costumes. That's where it's really doomed for me is with the costumes. But the story, the way the plot is seeming to be structured, very much Star Wars. I'm down for it. Can't wait. December 22nd, I'm definitely going to be watching this. Well, you guys, y'all let me know down here in the comments below what you think of this trailer. You know, are you excited for it? Or you're like, yeah, whatever. Also, too, if you're new to the channel, could you please go down there and hit that little subscribe button? It really helps us out here. And also, too, we have a gaming channel, BT Fiends Gaming, where I am currently playing Bioshock. If you would, please go over there and give that a sub as well. Also, too, give us a thumbs up. Helps us out here with the old YouTube, Albert, uh, YouTube algorithm. Can't even speak. But anyway, guys, <laughs> this has been your old buddy John, and I'll see you again next time. Ha <laughs> ha.